Okay, I've called Rhonda with Family FLP multiple times and she's not returning my calls. I am set up for supervised visits and they were, uh, they're violating my rights so I don't have access to the supervised visits with my daughter. I can't report it to anyone. I've also called the person from the domestic violence place to she got out of, she was trying to get out of give, going to the police department with me to file a police report. And she's not returning my call, so we can go do that today on my off day. These are the harassing calls I get. Uh, get. Um, a lot of they're at night and uh, sometimes at really in uh, opportune times. If you look, all of these were done within like an hour. And police have been covering for them for years. So all these private calls were harassing calls. They have threatened my life. I've been at a hotel room. And um, they had called on my phone and I stopped answering on my phone and I kept declining multiple. It was like 60 at one point, multiple people doing it. And then I, they started calling on the hotel's phone. So they knew where I was at and my room number. But I can't report it to the police because I keep covering for it. So this is the terror that I have lived in for years. So my tent flooded because they were uh, making sure that my housing was violated and I didn't have housing. So I had to live in a tent going through this living nightmare, getting violated, people threatening me, chaos on the bus, getting locked on trains. No one would take the report, thefts, pickpocketed, getting robbed, attacked, bus drivers covering for it in line for it, getting threatened at church drug out of a church, all of this going on. And I had to live in this um, nightmare in a tent going through the chaos with police and multiple pay people covering for it. So I go to this hotel room because uh, my tent's flooded. It's cold outside. It's raining in December. I have no one in life to help me, period. I walk, my shoes get muddy, get into the hotel room from the bus stop. And the police have already been there and had the hotel deny me services. I'll put the video in the upload, uh, in the um, descriptions. So this is just the nightmare that I've been going through. These are the prank calls I can't report, the covering for the interference with child custody, all those crimes the police enforce. I cannot report any crimes to the police. Um, no domestic violence organization will help me. Police have intervened in legal. They, uh, legal services have been denied. So it's like I live in this um amazing experience that I can't report to anyone so I'm here on my off day the no domestic violence place will help me so I don't know what else to do I have the prank calls and I've been getting violated for years begging for my life for years and it consistently keeps getting ignored